Welcome back on the channel. Today, uh, something different. So two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, I was in Bergheim. I was dancing to Polygonia for my label IO when she was playing there and she played this track here. That's a new track from my side. And I was amazing feeling to have that moment inside this huge club. Oof. Okay. But she kindly asked me when I did that compilation track for her to also uh, share some knowledge uh, how I built this track. So this is what I want to do today with you guys. The full compilation is quite interesting because um, you get a, an object. In our case, it was wood. So that's like your topic. And then you can create wooden samples and build that. This is what I actually did. Or, I mean, you can just build the mix down or everything in that vibe of what is wood for you. Uh, I also kind of did that, like less reverb, more close sound design, so it sounds more woody for me. So that concept, really interesting. Um, based on that, we built the track and each artist, um, yeah, use that background and then also create some uh, knowledge pieces to share. Uh, in my case, of course, a full video for you guys because that's my workflow. Uh, definitely check that uh, compilation out. I would say we go to Ableton now and check what I got and what I did with what I got. So I recorded some wooden sounds that, uh, yeah, I know, I take a ruler and other things and just uh, objects out of wood, my desk itself, I don't know, like everything that I could found that have some wood, I recorded it. Uh, let's have a look what I have here. So I have this sound here. Just a little background recording. Uh, here we have like the thing that I have on balcony hanging around. It's like a little wind, wind game. That's just a super long recording of that. Simple thing like this. Little sounds that I have with room acoustics. So we get like this uh, different room sounds. So don't use too much different reverbs in the end. Super nice for the little percussion. That's the ruler on the, on the desk. And I just play around with it. I think it gives a cool rhythm. My Berlin wooden floor, when you walk over it, and of course, yeah, here you can already see uh, when we are on beats with the algorithm here. Um, it already changed the sound, but I love this sound here that we get here. Really nice. And of course, this before the kick drops. When you use that, and you just say, Ooh, we stretch this. In texture mode. Beautiful. So that's my sounds, and uh, now we jump back to the to the track, and then uh, I show you now my stems here, and then uh, what I did. So here we have uh, the kick. I use just DS kick, a little bit of a Q and utility to make it mono, and yeah, that's my kick. Giving a click, a little bit of attack, and uh, a lower decay. Then the same thing here but a little bit different for the baseline. So we have this together. So we get this like nice rumble. Then the tribal rhythm. That's the sample from the end right now. Just using a simple small loop. Then we have the click sound using it like this, putting it a little bit in my delay here. That's the Valhalla. Mm, 
The shaker is really simple. A sample that I just used and panned a little bit to the left because it was offset recorded. Then also we sending this into the delay, pushing it a lot with dynamics. It's also just some wooden recording here from, from the percussion part. Some polyrhythmic, also just a simple little wooden plate thing. So let's go and make the loop smaller for new elements. Here I have like a shaker, that's also I think a sample loop. Um, just to push the rhythmic itself. Then we have this, take this little piece and make a 16 floor, uh, make it super small uh, on the transients with that algorithmic here in beats. And then I use the, just the highs and put the phaser in a 16. So we're getting this like nice You know what I mean? And then here is uh he says toy sound. Mm, I just make it backward and repitch and then I put like a lot of um like pitch hack to pitch it down, a shifter to shift it a bit flanger and phaser and uh, in phaser mode yeah slink filter then a queuing it a bit and uh, compress it and make a, a sidechain and then we have this it's kind of the hypnotic background sound and if we put all of this in a group Make it off. You just have this. And I just. And all together. Also here, here we have that little sound and it started to be this sound. So a little bit of corpus and some phasing and that's it. So yeah, kick, bass, a lot of little layers of percussions that we layer in different times. So you have like polyrhythmic, some are tied on, some are offbeat. And that's the main melody. That was just um, actually just the, the ruler on my desk. And I just uh, put it a little bit in rhythmic. So we have this. So, and then I just put this here on. So we have the corpus. I'm getting on it to make it more electrified. Then an envelope forward that goes on the radius. So it's like changing with the rhythmic what's going out. Uh, actually under under decay and on the opening, not on the radius. Yeah. Then a bit of EQing. Utility. Auto filter, LFO, and a phaser. And that's the main. And the filter is slowly closing and opening. So you can see, um, actually I just did really simple things with corpus and uh, uh, EQs. 
phasing, like always, of course. But uh, I just use mainly um, here this uh, algorithms, that, uh, the warp algorithms from Ableton, and just uh, try around to find like some sweet spot where I can like make it rhythmical, you know, on the grid. To find sweet spots, to yeah, get a groove, stuff like this, and just to create like a lot more rhythmical elements. And in the mix itself, I try to stay really like woody and organic. Totally with that element. Okay, I hope that was kind of helpful. You could see like I stay really simple to also have the focus on the wood and uh, don't use uh, any synths or something. But, uh, then just, yeah, like just the, the kick and the bass I wanted to control. So I use a synthesizer, but the rest is all wooden samples. And with Ableton, we are blessed enough to have the warp algorithms. They are really, really good. Um, if you just use them, you can have a lot of stuff and then some audio effects on top and you're happy. That's all I want to say. Mm, I hope that helps and uh, we see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.